Being so fast, that was so good. <laughs> Welcome to Lake Orid, Europe's oldest and one of its most beautiful lakes. It's located in the heart of the Balkans on the border between Albania and North Macedonia. My journey to this lake begins at the tiny border town of Bitola in the south of North Macedonia, and after a three hour bus ride through the snowy mountains, I arrived at the charming little town of Orid. Good afternoon and welcome to Orid, the beautiful, ancient, historic city located on the Lake Orid, one of Europe's most underrated and stunning lakes. As you can see, the snow is all the way behind me on those mountains, which is just incredible. And this town is full of history, culture and natural beauty. So come with me and let's explore it this afternoon. So this is actually the Church of Saint Sophia and is one of the most important monuments in North Macedonia as it houses art from the Middle Ages and on top of that it's over a thousand years old and was actually converted to a mosque during the Ottoman Empire's rule here and then converted back to a church later on. Really beautiful gardens here and they have lovely views looking over towards the snow-capped mountains on the other side of the lake and it's just stunning here. Really really cool. As you'll see throughout this video, this town is absolutely packed with churches and it was actually famous for once having 365 churches in the town, one for every day of the year. So it was said that this place was actually built in 200 BC and it was used in the Hellenistic times for gladiator fights and performances and it's actually in a really good location because it's got hills on either side of it which protect it from the wind which makes the performing like doesn't affect the sound or whatever. Um, but it's really cool, it's really still a lot intact and they obviously still use it for, for performances now um, and it's got such a beautiful backdrop of the mountains and the lake and behind it so it's just an incredible place very 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 cool piece of history Heading to the massive fort at the top of the hill, which the guy at my hotel recommended it was a great place to come check out the views and see some of the history, and it looks massive already. Right, I've either come too late or it's just not open this time of year, um, but it's completely closed, um, <laughs> which is a shame because I walked all the way up the hill. But the view from up here over the lake is incredible. I mean, those snowy mountains and the lake is just so, so beautiful. And I can't believe I never even knew this place existed until, I don't know, a couple of days ago? <laughs> Which is probably quite bad for me. So although this fortress has been dated back to 400 BC, it's been used for thousands of years and it was hugely restored in 2003 because a lot of the stuff here had fallen apart and had broken a lot. So they did a lot of work to reconstruct it and rebuild it to the, the place it is now. And it's a stunning piece of architecture now, really high up on this massive hill, like looking over the whole town and the whole lake. And it's just it's really incredible. Beautiful place to come and visit. But there is this extremely beautiful and even more extremely Instagrammable church a bit below me on the hill and so I'm going to go check that out now and see if it's worth all the hype and see what it's all about. The walk down to this church is so picturesque. You can see the whole other side of the city and the lake just looks so peaceful and the mountains, everything just looks so, so, so beautiful. But apparently below this church there's a beautiful beach as well where it's great to watch sunset. So after this church, I'm going to go have a look at the beach and see if I can find a good spot to sit down, watch sunset and have a cheeky beer. Okay, this church definitely lives up to all the hype. It is one of the most beautiful churches I've ever seen. And the location it's in is just incredible. This lake is so beautiful and the views from here are just unbelievable. Okay, 
okay that church was stunning but it's just starting to get towards sunset now so I'm gonna make my way down to this beautiful beach which I can see already and find a good spot and get ready to see one of the best sunsets I'm sure I'll see in this area it looks like a really clear sky so it should be an amazing sunset and hopefully the beach is beautiful too This beach is perfect, it's not the most beautiful sandy beach or nice pebble beach but it's really got a good view of the water and of the sunset so let's find a good spot. Right so I found a really really nice spot looking straight towards the sunset and the lakes calmed down so much it's really nice and smooth and I got myself a nice little local beer which is nice and cold so I'm just going to enjoy the sunset and I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning where we're gonna go do a really, really cool adventure. So see you tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to a lovely cold morning here at Lake Orrid for day two exploring this beautiful place. I had planned originally to go up and do a really cool hike up in the mountains but it's completely covered in snow and the owner of the hotel said there'd be no point going up because you won't even be able to see the lake from up there because of all the clouds and everything. So I think what I'm going to do because it's so cold is I might actually have a quick ice bath in there. Ice bath? Cold swim in the lake rather. <laughs> Jump in and wake myself up and then go for a walk along the, the banks of this lake and see what we can see. Apparently there's a few beautiful architectural towns over there, so let's check them out. But first, let me do the swim. Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh, oh my heart's beating so fast, that was so cold. <laughs> oh. oh, that feels amazing. Ah. Oh, that's one of the coldest waters I think I've ever been in. <laughs> it was at this moment I quickly ran inside and had the hottest shower I've had in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that feels so much better, that was such a nice warm shower. I sat in it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Just warming myself up because that water was actually freezing but I'm so happy I did it I feel so good so refreshed and so energized it's now going to explore the side of this this lake but I want to give a quick shout out to this hotel because it's actually really 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 nice it's got its whole own back garden leading over to the lake and it's all private and it's got a little seat here you can sit and enjoy beer or lunch or whatever you want and it's really really nice and it's really affordable as well it's called by the lake hotel it's more like apartments but it's very very nice the guy who owns it's very lovely it's great if you guys want to stay at a place like this and have a view like this i'll leave a link in the description you can check it out if you ever plan on visiting north macedonia it was so nice to just walk alongside the lake and enjoy the beautiful nature surrounding it and even though it was a cold and overcast day, I tried my best to enjoy it all. Wow, the walk along this lake is so, so, so picturesque. The town just looks amazing from that side and there's a really nice bike path and walk along this the whole side of the lake and it's really beautiful. But the town that I wanted to go to is actually a lot further than I it looked on the map um, so I'm gonna bin it off and just sit here and enjoy this view and just really soak it all in and enjoy this beautiful underrated lake. I hope you really enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed seeing some place you haven't probably heard of before and seeing the beauty that this place has and if you're new here hit that subscribe button guys join me in more adventures I guess and see more places around the world right see you guys next week mm -hmm.